I look at what I do more as an art than a science. Science will answer questions. Art has to move you in some way or another, and that's what music should do. The instrument that I play is the mixing console. I feel that I have a musician's heart. I don't necessarily have a musician's brain, but there is a part of me that is definitely on par with any other musician kind of thing from deep within. My name is Ken Scott. I'm a senior lecturer at Leeds Beckett University, and I teach recording technology. When I was 16, I wrote about 10 letters, I think it was, to various places that might need someone called a recording engineer. Heard back from one of the, the places on the Tuesday, left school that day and started to work at EMI Recording Studios, which is now known as Abbey Road, the following Monday. So nine days completely changed my life. Working there, within two, three months, I was working with the Beatles. I continued working with them as an assistant engineer from Hard Day's Night through Rubber Soul. As engineer reco actually recording them properly uh, from Magical Mystery Tour and through the the White Album. When I started off with the Beatles we were we were working on four track. We had to record bass, drums, two guitars all together at the same time. These days no one does that. It, it's They can be in completely different countries. They'll record bass, then they'll record the drums, then they'll record something else. As far as I'm concerned there is a spontaneity which is lost these days because you don't get the musicians playing together. It's not technology that's the problem, it's our overuse of technology that I find to be the problem. No one wants to make a decision. When they do make a decision, it's to use a hundred different effects on every instrument. To me, I like to get it as much like the musicians playing in the studio as possible, but that doesn't happen very much these days. I was lucky enough to, to work with someone that I consider to be the greatest studio performer ever, and that's David Bowie. There was one track on, uh, the opening track on Ziggy Stardust, a track called Five Years. By the end of it, he's bawling his eyes out. That doesn't happen these days. It's, they'll do one take and say, okay, we can patch that up and they'll auto-tune it, they'll move it all around. It's, we need to get back to the, the, the real talent and someone that can perform like Bowie in the studio. Academics at our university listen, inspire, challenge and innovate. They transform the way our students think and view the world. See how our academics and their research is making a real difference.